good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 19, 2019. Please like, subscribe and share to help support our channel. Time is running out. The 12 days of Christmas sale. It is almost over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. We are practically giving it away. Don't miss out on this chance to save, invest in yourself and your family's well-being. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information you need to know on those platforms throughout the day. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today. Our banks and forecasts in 2020. On the occasion of the end of the year 2019, and in view of the special and new conditions that our beloved country is going through due to the widespread popular movement and legitimate demands for political and economic change and reform, and because our banks are the first major link in the national economy, we must make clear with the analysis and evaluation of the business results of banks 2018 and 2019 that they have faced challenges from the work environment other than stable and attainment of bad debts more than 6 trillion dinars. The price of shares traded in the Iraqi market for securities decreased by 80%, and low liquidity of some banks to the minimum limits established by the central bank and the decrease in financial revenues verification of deposits and deficiencies in the legislative environment, the determinants of instructions that regulate the economic process, tax and customs laws and instructions, their declining financing activities and their weak contribution to reconstruction. Investment and Development It must be noted here that our banks confirmed their sobriety and strengthened the public's confidence in them during the current popular movement and the continuation of their daily activities and work despite administrative, logistical and technical difficulties, which contributed effectively to the implementation of the central bank policy in achieving stability in the exchange rate and perpetuating internal and external banking operations which strengthened the international confidence in our international banking transactions, and this is evident when comparing the state of our banks with other countries that witness the same conditions and the popular movement, as happened in Lebanon, for example. This confirms that our banks are heading in the right direction. Therefore, it requires that it accomplish its plans for the year 2020 in the light of analyzing the results of its activities and activities in the light of the current conditions and expectations in 2020 after the formation of the interim new government and the requirements of the new situation and in accordance with the central and subsidiary central bank strategy goals in the year 2020 with a focus on contributing to the implementation of the strategic banking projects that it plans and put it and set its goals the central bank Bank, which are 21 technical, financing and administrative projects and come up with policies and procedures according to their actual needs and the sustainability of their provision of their banking products and enhance their freedoms from restoring confidence in the banking sector and that these etc. are prepared I coordinate with the specialized departments of the central bank by holding working meetings and diagnostic and analytical discussions organized by the Banking Control Department in cooperation with the Iraqi Private Banking Association in setting policies and procedures to meet the major challenges facing banks and focus on re-reviewing, evaluating and amending their policies and procedures and developing them towards their establishment. The completion of banks' plans for the year 2020 requires them to take quick steps, which is the transition of the Iraqi banking sector to a discrete and developed economic sector and is committed to international regulations, rules and standards for compliance, combating money laundering, financial reporting and risk management, and thus the transition from the role of banking to the development role in contributing to the revitalization of the economic cycle by activating and supporting financing small and medium enterprises and large development projects through which a solid national economy and sustainable development are achieved that ultimately serves the Iraqi people and their aspirations for a better life. This requires that each bank have a specific plan for the year 2020 in the areas of technical development and work in accordance with international standards to achieve financial inclusion, 
attract deposits, work on capacity building, training and qualify human resources, achieve the goal of investing in human capital and develop the structural structure of the banking sector in addition to the bank's interest in applying financial stability criteria which are financial safety indicators such as the ratio of the capital adequacy ratio, the liquidity ratio, the profitability ratio as the ratio of profit and net profit to capital, the percentage of return on assets, the percentage of return on shareholders, equity, the cost of activity and the ratio leverage of funds and the percentage of investing funds. In addition to adopting indicators to measure the efficiency of performance and the creation of units for statistics, studies and financial analysis to indicate monthly, quarterly and annual deviations in the drawn plans. This needs the government and the central bank to support banks and enable them to continue banking activity and to implement the decisions of the Council of Ministers and the Economic Affairs Committee related to the revitalization of banking work, especially in the field of credit and banking financing and bank loans and facilities and give a fundamental role to private banks and their involvement in the manufacture of central economic decisions. Next Article of Interest Saleh informs an American delegation about the solutions of the current situation in Iraq. Today, Thursday, President of the Republic Baran Saleh received, at the Peace Palace in Baghdad, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State David Hill. Hill affirmed his country's support for the stability and security of Iraq and the fulfillment of the aspirations of Iraqis to live in peace, freedom and respect for Iraqi sovereignty. The President of the Republic pointed out the importance of international support to Iraq and the completion of the victory against terrorism, stressing that solutions to the current conditions should be in response to the Iraqi national decision away from external interference. During the meeting, which was attended by the American Ambassador to Iraq, Matthew Tuller, they discussed strengthening relations between the two countries developing prospects for cooperation and joint coordination to serve mutual interests, as well as reviewing the latest developments on the regional and international arenas. Next article of interest, UN urges Iraqi leaders to agree over NUPM designate. The United Nations Assistance Mission for Iraq, UNAMI, on Wednesday urged the Iraqi political leaders to reach consensus on a prime minister designate candidate who meets the aspirations of the Iraqi people. The special representative of the UN Secretary General for Iraq, Janine Hennis Blassart, said, At this stage, time is of the essence, and the situation calls for decisive action. Iraq cannot afford band aid solutions or coercive measures. Hennis Blassart, who is also Toonami chief, warned of violent acts against protesters and civil society activists. She said that it is the ultimate responsibility of the state to protect its people. Iraq's political leaders must assume this responsibility by responding to the rightful demands for reform without further delay, according to the statement. The Iraqi President Baram Saleh has been in difficult negotiations with the political parties and representatives of demonstrators to choose a candidate as prime minister designate to form a new government that would replace the caretaker government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Saleh has a deadline until Thursday to choose a candidate as a prime minister designate. On December 1st, the Iraqi parliament approved the resignations of Abdul Mahdi and his government and sent a letter about the resignation to President Saleh on December 4. Then Saleh will have to task a prime minister designate within a period of 15 days. The prime minister designate has 30 days to form a cabinet and present it to parliament for approval. The parliament must approve each minister in separate absolute majority votes. For their part, the demonstrators reject any candidate for prime minister designate from the political parties participating in the current political process, and stipulate that the candidate be independent. The current political row came as mass demonstrations have continued in the capital Baghdad and other cities in central and southern Iraq since early October, demanding comprehensive reform, fight against corruption, better public services and more job opportunities. Next article of interest. Al Fatah, Saleh has postponed the nomination of the Prime Minister until next Sunday. 
a deputy from the Al Fateh bloc said that the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, decided to postpone the attribution of the post of Prime Minister until next Sunday. The President of the Republic and the heads of the blocs agreed to postpone the assignment of the post of the new Prime Minister of Iraq until next Sunday, in order to give the parties an opportunity to agree on a candidate, Ahmed al Kanani, the deputy to the Alliance of Conquest, said in a press statement. The largest bloc was not clear after the legislative elections in May 2018, and the appointment of Abdul Mahdi as Prime Minister at that time came with a political consensus that took place within hours, after Saleh was elected President of the Republic. However, the task today is difficult for any candidate who obtains the confidence of Parliament, and is able to meet the demands of the street and withdraw the protesters after more than two months of demonstrations that killed about 460 people and injured more than 20,000. Since the approval of the House of Representatives on 1 December of the current resignation of the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi, the stock exchange of politics has started trading several names, some of which were serious, and others were burnt papers to exclude them. However, three names have been raised recently. They are Minister of Higher Education Qusay al-Suhail, former Minister of Labor and Social Affairs Muhammad Shia al-Sudani and head of the National Intelligence Service Mustafa al-Kazemi. Next article of interest. Al-Hal Bausi Belashart. They are in the process of legislating an electoral law according to the highest vote system. Today, Parliament Speaker Mohammad al Halbausi received the representative of the United Nations Secretary General in Iraq. Janine Blackshard. A statement issued by his office, received by al News Agency, said, the meeting discussed the development of the political situation in the country, and the necessity of choosing a government booth within the constitutional times that meet the demands of the Iraqi people. The two sides also discussed the efforts of the House of Representatives to push forward the legislation of the new election law and implement it in a manner that enables Iraqis to vote in a transparent and more acceptable manner, and allows all people to access the House of Representatives according to the highest system of votes, and emphasize the importance of restoring confidence in the electoral and political process. For her part, Blassard assured of supporting the efforts of the parliament in this area and the willingness of the United Nations to provide assistance in order to achieve international standards in the election mechanisms according to the new law. Next article of interest. Legal expert. Three powers of the President of the Republic in appointing a new Prime Minister. A legal expert revealed, today, Thursday, three powers for the President of the Republic to appoint a new Prime Minister. The President of the Republic has three powers to nominate a new Prime Minister, the first of which is the largest number of parliamentary bloc candidates, Firas Ghazali said. He added, when the candidate of the most numerous bloc fails, the President of the Republic has the right to nominate any person without being bound by the bloc. Ghazali pointed out that, the third authority is that in the event that confidence is not granted to the cabinet of the candidate of the largest number of parliamentary blocs. The President of the Republic will have the right to nominate whomever he will. Next article of interest. Saleh is discussing with a U.S. official a solution to the current situation in the country with a national decision. Today, Thursday, at the Peace Palace in Baghdad, President of the Republic Baram Saleh received U.S. Deputy Secretary of State David Hill. Hill stressed, according to the statement of the Presidency of the Republic, his country's support for the stability and security of Iraq and the fulfillment of the aspirations of Iraqis to live in peace, freedom and respect for Iraqi sovereignty. The President of the Republic pointed out the importance of international support to Iraq and the completion of the victory against terrorism, stressing that solutions to the current conditions should be in response to the Iraqi national decision away from external interference. During the meeting, which was attended by the American ambassador to Iraq, Matthew Tuller, they discussed strengthening relations between the two countries and developing prospects for cooperation and joint coordination to serve mutual interests, in addition to reviewing the latest developments on the regional and international arenas. Is over. Next article of interest. Washington explains the reasons for the decision to reduce its diplomatic presence in Iraq. 
the U.S. State Department confirmed, Thursday, that ensuring the safety of U.S. government employees and American citizens abroad is a top priority for the ministry, in response to a decision to reduce its diplomatic presence, said Julia Mason, a spokeswoman for the ministry. Mason added, the United States Embassy in Baghdad, as well as its consulate in the city of Erbil, are operating normally, and that Ambassador Matthew Taylor and his team are working on the ground on a daily basis. Mason stressed that Iraq one of the most important strategic partners of the United States in the region, and Washington is committed to full participation with our Iraqi partners, noting that the ministry continues to monitor the security situation in Iraq. Like subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold and be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale before it's over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Lock in your deal today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.